everyone my name is Jen and welcome to the book refuge and today I'm doing a um, Kindle Unlimited favorites or Kindle Unlimited recommendation video so these are all ones that I've uh, read within well most of them are all ones I've read within the last year because something that I do in my Goodreads is if I read it on Kindle Unlimited I put it on that shelf so I didn't go back and double check all of these just kind of the bigger names to see if they were um, but as far as I know all of these are on KU and have been on KU and probably will continue to be on KU I'm also going to go through these kind of quickly because they'll also always be listed down below down below um, pretty much every video that I do the books that I talk about are listed down in the description I don't know if you know that so if you feel like I go through these too quickly um, or you aren't able to just pause and get a screenshot know that I list everything down below um, first off what's Kindle Unlimited I know those of us in the book community and like especially specifically romance are like what's Kindle Unlimited and I mean maybe you read and you don't have a Kindle like that is completely understandable or you use one of the other platforms and in that case I can't help you because I have used Amazon pretty much since I first knew that we could get books directly from them and that's how I've always done it for the last 10 years so I don't use any of the other options sometimes people are like tell me ways to get this that isn't from Amazon and I'm like I'm sorry I'm a I'm a cheap hoe and the easiest way for me to do that is to use Amazon I'm sorry I'm happy to buy from indie bookstores for certain things, but once they carry every book that I want, then we can. Um, but anyway, I'm going to go pretty quickly through this list, but I just thought I would hit some of my favorites that I've had, as well as some that I think are pretty popular books. I've been seeing quite a few of these like on TikTok, but here we go. Um, the first series that I want to throw up here um, is the Ice Planet Barbarian series by Ju Judy Dixon by Ruby Dixon. I love that this series is getting a second win. I'm still not finished with the series. I've read through books seven in the series. Um, but as far as I know, like all of Ruby Dixon's books are on KU. So there's that. But I know Ice Planet Barbarians are really getting a kick on TikTok right now. It's just so funny to me how stuff goes where like each social media platform gets around to Ice Planet Barbarians eventually. And it fills me with a lot of joy because these books, they're a happy place. Like, it's funny that a frozen tundra of a planet with aliens on it would be my happy place. But if they were aliens like IPB, I would be there in a heartbeat, okay? I just would. Um, this series, just in case you don't know, these women are stolen by aliens and they crash land on the ice planet which happens to have the Ice Planet Barbarians, who are, for the most part, is a bunch of big blue men with big dicks and faded mates. This is a faded mate story. So they have something that's called a qui, and that qui, when it finds its mate, who is the perfect mate that they will reproduce with and have babies with, they will it will turn on, basically. And it makes them super horny until they mate and have baby. So it's funny because the series is so... Literally, the faded mate, the only point of it is for them to bang it out until they're pregnant. But the way that these heroes are so obsessed with their women and love them and provide for them and just think that they are brilliant is so cool. Like, I love this series. And it's funny because I first read the, the first three books in the series like a long, long time ago, and I gave them like two stars. I wasn't reading romance the way that I am now, so that is my only excuse. But now I appreciate them for what they are and what they do and the perfect escape that they are. And I try to read one or two every month. I really pace them out because eventually I would catch up to them and then where would I be? And then a series that strangely reminds me a lot of Ice Planet Barbarians, even though it is not like it at all, is Men of the North by Eileen Peer or Ellen Peer or however we say it. This is a series that I discovered um, in the way I discover a lot of series where the first book was free. It's about a dystopian world where women now rule, which you think, oh, well, that should be a utopia instead of a dystopia. Um, men, for the most part, are relegated to the North where they have regressed even a little bit and are very alpha male. And there is like one woman, one woman for every hundred thousand men. Um, so they have these like competitions to win the women. It's kind of amazing. But this series starts off with the protector and we have this one heroine who's from the motherlands who 
it is just there has been this archaeological site found in the Northlands it's a library which she's supposed to go and excav excavate and so the thing is is that if you're an unwed woman in the Northland you need a protector um, and so our hero gets assigned to be her protector and there are just so many what's fascinating to me and I've read through book six in the series my friend Tiffany has almost read the whole series she really really loves it is the way that it takes on toxic masculinity but also what toxic femininity could look like and how that could be taken to the extreme as well and what that would mean and I think it's really great because we know the effects of toxic masculinity and what that can do to men and young boys and what that looks like but there is another side to it it's just not one that we've seen and so I think it's something that of course this book is bonkers and it's sci-fi and it's dystopian and nothing about it is exactly how it is but when you read these books you will feel an echo of like oh I could see some women taking it to this degree and I could see why that would be just as ridiculous as the ways that toxic masculinity could take things as well it's amazing um, then of course I gotta mention my lady Sophie Lark who I will, will actually be on this channel on the 19th I believe she'll be on the here on the 19th of June <laughs> I should remember but all of her books um, except for a couple of her standalones, I think like one of her standalones, all of her books are on Kindle Unlimited. Um, specifically, I want to mention the Brutal Birthright series. That's how I found her. That's what I feel like is her most popular series. I am reading one of her older series right now because I want to read as much of her as I can before she's on my channel. Duh. But this starts with Brutal Prince and it starts with an arranged marriage. This is Mafia in case I didn't say that. And it is between Ada and Callum and they get themselves into some trouble in the beginning of this book and so their dads to make sure that their families keep the peace because they do not want a mafia war breaking out they force these two to get married and when I tell you that this first book is a wild ride it is a wild ride because these two hate each other and they hate each other in the way that's more comical than it is like okay guys stop hating each other and the pranks that they play on each other because it is kind of a dark romance they're leveled up but they're still basically doing pranks on each other like spoiled step siblings more than like a husband and wife now but when it turns and they start to love each other they love each other with that same fierceness so the books in the brutal birthlight bright series they're brutal i can't say are about um both of their family so like all the siblings between those two um ada has um three brothers and then Callum has two sisters I think that's how it is and so each of them like has a book and they're amazing and then that leads into the Kingmaker series by her and then if you go back to the beginning of her there is the Underworld series which I'm currently reading so all those books are on KU have fun the Blood Alliance series by Lexi C. Foss this is a uh, paranormal fantasy dystopian world where werewolves and vampires are now the superior um, beings and humans are all slaves. There are no free humans. There are none. And you, when you are born, you are either given to the werewolves or the vampires to be used how they want. Um, there are this is a very very brutal world and the reason that it's called the blood alliance is the blood alliance is what the vampires and the werewolves started to have domination over humans but there's a small sect of um it starts out with just a few vampires but there's also some lichens who join later on too who want humans to be free as well because not completely out of selfless reasoning of just believing humans deserve it but there was many more humans to feed off of and to turn or have as mates when they were free because now humans have been like farmed out so much that we're they're dying out you know they're killing them before they can breed and so this series is very dark it's very twisty but I'm so addicted to it I cannot tell you it's amazing highly recommend um, kidnapped by the pirate by Kira Andrews um, this is a male male age gap pirate romance it's delightful the Royals collection by Louise Bay so Louise Bay is an author that I found because her books were on audible escape she does have like 10 or so of them on audible escape and the Royals collection which I can't remember them all but there's like the King of Wall 
Street, the Prince of Park Avenue, the Duke of Manhattan, they're all these. And so they're kind of like billionaire and business band romances, they're office romances. Um, there's a couple that take place in London and there's some that take place in like New York and they're all connected which you'll see when you start reading them. But I really enjoyed these. Um, most of these were four stars, but one or two of them was a five star for me. I'm enjoying Louise Bay quite a lot because her contemporaries are just like a little bit edgier. Like there's usually just like a little more edge than like a fluffy contemporary might have. Um, and I just love her like alpha males in hers. Shane East does the voices for most of the men in the series. And so I'm, I'm here for it. Yes, please. Thank you, ma'am. Um, R.S. Gray. Um, I won't like list all of these, but quite a few of hers are on Kindle Unlimited. Her recent release, To Have and to Hate, is one of them. I went through my binge with R.S. Gray kind of last year because a lot of those books were on Audible Escape back then. Um, but still, a lot of her books are on KU. And she's one that she really kind of writes like trope based. So really if there's a trope that you like she probably has a book that fits into it and again she's an author that's great for an escape I know that I'm like nine times out of ten gonna like her books there are a few that I didn't like but I mean that happens with any author um and I just I enjoy I enjoy going through some of her books um Black Sunshine by Karina Halley a lot of Karina's books are on um KU but this is a more recent one that came out this is a vampire romance and other things the Grip Trilogy and the Soul series by Kennedy Ryan. So not all of Kennedy Ryan's books are on Kindle Unlimited, okay? They're not. But the Grip Trilogy, which is one of my favorites, and then um, the Soul uh, series, which is actually the series that comes before the Grip Trilogy. But even Kennedy herself says that you should read the Grip Trilogy first and then you can read the Soul series. <laughs> And I understand why, because particularly there are some characters that you maybe wouldn't like them if you read the Soul series first, and you do want to like them in the Grip trilogy. So there's that. Um, all of Sam Mariano's books, so I'll just throw that up there. I binged Sam Mariano last year, yeah, last August, um, after I read Carter Mahoney. She has a mafia series called the Morellis. Yeah, I think it's the Morelli family. Um, and then she also has a few other like smaller duets and stuff, which I'm actually still working my way through. I want to do a deep dive on San Mariano once I finish some of her. There's so many authors I want to deep dive. You know, it's a process. But her books, she writes some pretty twisty boys, as you can guess. Um, but her books are just like addicting to me. Like her books, mm, they're so good. Highly recommend all of T.L. Swan's books. This is the author who's written one of my favorite books of all time. In fact, if the Outlander series did not exist, I could say that The Takeover is my favorite of all time, but I just, I just can't quite do it. But um, yes, my lovely Tristan, he is on Kindle Unlimited and also on, um, if you get Kindle Unlimited, you get the free audio to go with it for the Stopover series. So that is another incentive to do that. Uh, but yeah, all of, all of her books are on there. Helena Hunting, most all of her books are on there as well. Her indie published books, the traditionally published books obviously aren't, but the Pucked series, the All In series, those books are all going to be on Kindle Unlimited. And then the last author I wanted to mention who has been a favorite for quite a while now um, is Melanie Harlow. She has small town romances um, for the most part. I think there's a couple that are big city, but a lot of her books take place around um, the Cloverleaf Farm. And even the ones that aren't in the Cloverleaf series take place kind of around that area. Um, I think it's in Michigan, or is it Wisconsin? I don't remember. But I, the first book I ever read by her was um, Irresistible. Wow, it's been a long time. Which was an age gap um, single dad romance. And that led me to reading most of her books, which I have just loved including her newest release, which was Timey Bound. So there we go. So that was a quick one, but there is quite a few books to get you started on. Those are all ones that I highly recommend, whether the authors or the individual books. Um, and I just wanted to kind of throw out this video because I know that, you know, Kindle Unlimited is a great investment. 
you know, depending on when you get it, when it's on sale or whatever, the most I think it ever costs is like $10 a month. And particularly if you are a romance reader, I just don't see how you go without it. You know, like there's so many books on Kindle Unlimited um, and so many unknown authors, you know, like maybe it's not some of the ones I've mentioned, but if you just go to Kindle Unlimited and you pick the genre you want, you're going to find something. And so I just love that. And I know it's from Amazon again, and some people don't like that, but I mean, as a book reader, I just can't hear an argument for anything else because for the money wise, for the page for page that I get, for the way that it gives ease to a lot of authors who otherwise wouldn't be able to publish, but they can through KDP and things like that the benefits outweigh the downsides for me. And that's tough, that's tough, because there are some authors that Amazon does some damage. So I'm being full disclosure, but I'm also telling you my bias that I'm probably never getting rid of Kindle Unlimited unless something absolutely blew it up, okay? So thank you so much for watching this video. Tell me your favorite author that you found on Kindle Unlimited, um, and you can watch some more videos right now. Bye.